The Philippine Navy will get the biggest project in Phase 2 of the AFP Modernization Program. Manila, the Philippine Navy PN, will get the largest share of the Horizon 2 updated AFP Modernization Program, Defense Minister Delphine Lorenzana said Monday. I saw the acquisition program for the next five years and I could see that the biggest part would be going to the Navy, then the Air Force the third was the Army, Lorenzana said. Horizon 2 is scheduled from 2018 to 2022 for the AFP modernization program. Pipelines for PN are two missile trigger frigates, which are currently undergoing construction at the Hyundai Heavy Industries shipyard in South Korea and are expected to ship between 2020 and 2021. To Augusta Westland A-159, Wildcat, and his submarine helicopters, which are scheduled to be delivered in 2019, and three more multipurpose multipurpose armed missiles, the Spike Earth, which is currently undergoing a bid. Lorenzana said allocating more modernization projects to PN was only correct because there were still large gaps in their capabilities. I have always believed that the Philippines as an archipelagic country must have a good navy, a credible navy, and even look back at our history, since we were independent. The strongest armed forces in the armed forces, Philippine Navy, because our country is an archipelago, he added. Read more at Update, PH. Makukuha ng Philippine Navy ang pinakamalaking proyekto sa Phase 2 ng programang modernisasyon ng AFP. Ang Philippine Navy PN, ay makakakuha ng pinakamalaking bahagi ng Horizon 2 Updated AFP Modernization Program, sinabi ni Defense Minister Delphine Lorenzo na noong lunes. Nakita ko ang programa ng pagkuha para sa susunod na limang taon at nakikita ko na ang pinakamalaking bahagi ay pupunta sa Navy pagkatapos ang Air Force, ang ikatlo ay ang Army, sabi ni Lorenzana. Ang Horizon 2 ay naka-schedule mula 2,018 hanggang 2,022 para sa programang modernisasyon ng AFP, ang Pipelines 4PN ay dalawang frigates na nag-trigger ng missile. Nakasalukuyang sumasa ilalim sa pagtatayo sa pangangalakal ng Hyundai Heavy Industries sa South Korea at inaasahang ipapadala sa pagitan ng 2020 at 2021. Dalawang Agusta Westland O-159, Wild Gut, anti-submarine helicopters, na naka-schedule na may hahatid sa 2019, at tatlong higit pang multi-purpose multi-purpose armed missiles, ang Spike Earth. Nakasalukuyang nagsasagawa ng deed, sinabi ni Lorenzo na ang paglalaan ng higit pang mga proyekto ng paggawa ng makabago sa PN ay tama lamang dahil may mga malalaking puwang sa kanilang kakayahan. Palagi akong naniniwala na ang Pilipinas bilang isang bansa ng archipelago ay dapat magkaroon ng isang mahusay na navy, isang kapanipaniwala navy, at kahit na tumingin sa aming kasaysayan. Dahil kami ay malayang, ang pinakamatibay na armadong pwersa sa Armed Forces, Philippine Navy, dahil sa ating bansa ay isang arkipelago, dagdag na, magbasa ng higit pa sa update, PH.
Thank you for watching and hearing the latest military news. Keep up to date with the latest military news on the Update Defense channel. Hope you enjoy it.